Hey friends, uh, today I want to talk to you about colour matching using Final Cut Pro. Uh, what I mean by colour matching is if you've got two clips from different cameras then sometimes the colours can look a little bit different which when you're watching it back can look a little bit weird. I've had a situation come up like that recently and I've been learning a bit about it so I thought I would share it with you. So I'm going to use the colour match tool in Final Cut and then I'm also going to show you how you can use the video scopes for a few other ways that you can slightly improve the colour matching as well that way. So let's get into it. So yeah, as I said, uh, I've been working on a short film project recently uh, to make a short film to promote an upcoming sea swim event that's happening in Brighton and it was a lot of fun to do. We had some GoPro footage, Mavic Pro, I shot most of it on my iPhone just to add a little bit of a challenge and keep it sort of quick and dirty in a way. So uh, I'm working on it at the moment, editing it together, very pleased with how it's coming together. One of the challenges I found though is when I've been piecing together GoPro footage and drone footage the colors are very different from one shot to the next from the iPhone GoPro Mavic whatever um, and when you're editing it it's very jarring to watch so this has meant I've had to do quite a lot of research and brush up my skills in order to uh, be able to color match these clips so when you watch the finished product it looks you know, it all looks as it should and it's not sort of jarring. Let's jump into my screen and I'll show you the few tricks that I have been doing to colour match. So I'm in Final Cut already and what I've done is I've just put um, a couple of clips here, um, which I'll show you very quickly. So this clip that's on the screen now is shot from the GoPro and this is a close up of my brother Rich swimming. And then this second shot, so this is a GoPro, this is from the Mavic Pro and you can see straight away that the colour of the water looks significantly different. From a distance it looks much greener and here it's this very nice sort of blue aqua sort of colour and there's kind of a much more vibrant feel to this GoPro footage. So. Um, what I want to do is I want my Mavic to look a lot more, this wide shot, I want this wide shot to look a lot more like the GoPro shot, okay. Now there's a really nifty built-in tool in Final Cut called Colour Match, which is like a one-click wizard to, uh, to colour match. So I'll show you that first. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the Mavic clip and then we're going to go to this magic wand up here and we're gonna say match colour and then what it's gonna do is it's, it's going to want us to select what we want to match from. So on the right hand side here, it's showing the uh, clip that we're matching from. And you can see the cursor has got this little camera next to it now. So I can scrub through and I can find a shot from here that looks good. I'm gonna go with that one. And straight away, did you see when I clicked that, it's immediately changed the, uh, the colors. Now, you might be thinking, that's not that great, Will. What are you talking about? And you'd be right. But the thing is, it's done some of the work and I can be quite lazy from time to time. So the fact that it's done some of the work, I'm still pleased about. So once we've said apply the match over here on this right hand side, we click apply match and that has now done the match. And already, even though it's not perfect, it's, it's better. So this is where we now do have to roll up our sleeves and do a little bit more. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the video scopes. And to do that, you can either do Command 7, and it's gonna bring them up here on the left-hand side, or you can do View, Show in Viewer, Video Scopes there, which is ticked because I've already turned it on. And then in here, what we've got is we've got the vector scope there 
Uh, I just need to change this view. So sorry, we've got the waveform already turned on. Uh, so I need to just change this view so we can have some more going on. So what I want, there we go, is we've got the vector scope and we've got the waveform, okay? So what we can do is we can look at this waveform and what this is showing is the amount of the image which is and where it is exposed. So 100 being totally white, zero down here being totally black and everything in between. And as we're going through, you can see it changes all of the time. And then if we go into the next clip, you can see a very different waveform for that one. Okay, so that's the waveform. That's showing us exposure or luma. Uh, and then the vector scope is more really showing us where the saturation sits and you can see that in this one it's very much sitting down in the kind of greens and the blue area with a little bit going off to the red and you can see if we look at the image you see lots of green lots of blue and a little bit of red and in this one you can see not so saturated because the nearer the middle we are the less saturated the further out you go the more saturated okay so on this one um, I, d I just want to stop there actually for a second right and say I, I might sound like I'm rambling about this a little bit and the fact is I'm very much finding my feet with this and I'm just sort of sharing this with you so I don't want you for a second to think that I'm an absolute expert at this um, I'm very much just finding my way through this this uh, project that's come up has been quite a learning curve when it comes to kind of matching colors so um, yeah I hope this is useful but please don't take this as an absolute experts guide or anything this is just my sort of learning experience as I'm going through this so uh, disclaimer over okay so so back to this. Um, so yeah, in our saturation, we can see this one is still sitting much more in the green. So in order to sort of fix this, you can see this in this first clip, the water's a really nice color. And in this second clip, it doesn't look quite so nice. So what I'm gonna do is um, in this second clip, I'm gonna go to the color corrections and I've got my corrections set to the color wheels. And this was the new color correction tool that Final Cut introduced in um, 10.4. So if you don't see this, you might want to upgrade because this is so much better than the old color board that they used to have. And you can still use the color board, um, but the color wheel is much more like a lot of the other um, video editors are using um, Premiere Pro for example uses a similar system to this and DaVinci Resolve I believe uses it as well uh, so I've been much uh, really enjoying using the color wheels instead of the board so what we can do is we can actually say well if we grab our mid-tones and we bring them a little bit more into the blue then suddenly that starts to kind of get us a little bit closer to where we want to be. And if I do the same with the shadows, then yeah, that's already starting to look a little bit better. Now the other thing is, I feel like this Maverick Pro shot is lacking a little bit of contrast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the shadows down and on the waveform, you can see I can bring those shadows quite a lot down without them being underexposed. And immediately, wow, look at the difference that that's made to the color of the sea. Similarly, maybe I could bring the midtones up a bit and then bring the highlights up a little bit. And you can see on here, I'm never, this shot, looking at the waveform, I'm never going to drag this all the way down to zero and drag the highlights all the way up to 100 and you know really elongate it that way. There's just no point in trying to do that with this clip. But just trying to add a little bit more distance is actually quite nice. And then for them, I could even try pulling the master into, oh yeah, that is starting to look really good now. So there you go, that looks a lot more inviting. And if we just turn that color wheel off, that looks like Brighton Beach. And that looks like a much more inviting 
atmosphere for someone to be swimming in, doesn't it? Um, so that's that. So then if we go back to our original clip, then actually I think this one feels a little washed out as well. So I'd like to add some contrast into this as well. So to do that again, I'm gonna pull my shadows down. I'm gonna bring my highlights up. And you can see how on the waveform, I'm just basically trying to increase the maximum points here. This is obviously at certain points in the white of the water, for example, it is already sort of blown out and we're not really getting anywhere near to uh, crushing the blacks. Maybe a few little bits are, but I think we could still even take that down a touch more. So now that water's looking really nice. And then when we come across, I need to turn that, turn those color wheels back on. So now that looks really bluey green, nice and vibrant. And then we come across. So it still doesn't match perfectly, does it? But let's just watch the whole clip. It's a lot better than where we started, but now I feel like this close-up GoPro shot feels a little sort of over contrasty now. So I'm gonna bring that shadows up again on that. But I'm going to add some more saturation to try and bring that. And similarly with that Mavic Pro overhead shot, I think perhaps I've overdone the contrast on that a little bit as well. So now, so I've just adjusted the shadows, highlights, could perhaps add a tiny bit more saturation to that. And let's have a look where we're at now. So that's it, that is some simple color matching. So first of all, we've got the match color one click correction, which does do some of the work, but it's definitely not a magician <laughs> to say the least. Uh, and then following on from that, we've used the video scopes to um, adjust the saturation, shadows and highlights to adjust the exposure and use the color board to just pull different aspects of the overall color of the video into a different space. So with that Mavic shot, I've just pulled the overall color of that video. I've just shifted it into a slightly bluer space so that it matches that water. I've done a lot of that using my eye, more so than I should have. You know, the real experts would say you should be using your scopes for everything, but I'm learning and um, yeah, to be fair, I can look at it. I can use the scopes to my advantage, but I'm not definitely in a place where I'm just using scopes and color correcting magically like that. Um, so hopefully you found that useful. It's been uh, quite a learning journey for me uh, doing that kind of color matching for that particular project. Uh, and you can see, I will share the whole video with you once it's finished, but at the moment it's very much deep in the post-production stages. Um, I hope you found that useful. If you did, give the video a like. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you want to be updated on my regular journey as I learn filmmaking, photography, and all of that jazz, then please subscribe to the channel. I do regular videos um, and it would be great to have you join in with the fun. If you've got any questions whatsoever, then drop them in the comments down below and I do my best to respond to everything that anyone says. And thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time.